Welcome to another video from inzara.com where we provide simple and effective Excel templates for small business needs. In this video, I will give a tour of the new Small Business Finance Manager Excel template. This template is designed to simplify managing financial transactions for your small business. Accounting and bookkeeping tasks are very critical to any small business. However, they're not the easiest ones to do. This template will help you with a solution to simplify data entry related to all financial transactions, at the same time provide you with an effective tool which will automate dashboards and reports, which will give you the control of financial status of your business. This small business finance manager will calculate the balances in different accounts as we see here on screen. It'll also generate a profit and loss statement. It will give you a view of the cash flow monthly for your business. It will also give you very valuable insights about sales and expense trends in your business. And also there are automated reports which will give you instant access to unpaid invoices, unpaid bills, and you can also generate a customer specific report or a vendor specific report as needed. Before we go and take a look at the actual template itself, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please subscribe if you're interested in simple and effective Excel templates. This template is available from inzara.com. I will be providing a link to this Excel template in the video description below. Now this is our Excel template. I filled in with some sample data in this template so I can illustrate the functionality. The first sheet is the setting sheet where we can provide the name of our small business and we can enter the date when we start using this template. From that date onwards, you can enter all your transactions into this file. Step three is entering the different bank accounts. So I have entered a few bank accounts, like there are credit cards, and I can also have cash type of accounts. And I will enter the starting balance of each of those accounts as of when I start using this template. In this case, in this example, it is 1st July 2019. There are five categories of transactions, as you can see here, income, cost of sales, operating expense, transfer, and other. Within each of these categories, you can enter different subcategories. I have entered some already. There are 20 that have been entered, but there's a maximum of 33. So you can enter more subcategories if you need, depending on your business. If you need to expand on any of these limits on this template, uh, please reach out to us at support at inzara.com. Now, this is very, very simple. This can be done in a couple of minutes. So once you enter this information, you have completed the initial setup. Now we can go into the transactions, which is where you will be spending more time on a daily or a weekly, however frequently you update your information. This is where all the transactions are entered. One of the nice things about this template is that all the transaction information can be entered in one place. So you do not have to go back and forth between many different sheets. Everything is being entered in one sheet and you can see that there are so many different transaction types that you can enter. So the template can handle invoicing or billing. At the same time, you can generate an instant sale or record an instant expense. You can also handle bulk payments. You can handle refunds to customers, refunds you receive from your suppliers. You can issue credit to your customers. You can then apply it. You can also receive supplier credit and you can then use them to purchase new products or services. You can also transfer uh, amounts from one account of yours to another account. So all of those transaction types are supported. And as you can see, there are only a few columns that you have to enter for every single financial transaction. It is simplified data entry, still does not lose any functionality that we really need as small business owners. Now, this is the data entry portion. Let's go into the dashboard. All of these other sheets are automated and fully dynamic. So I'll show you, for example, here, dashboard. This shows you the total balance for your small business. This shows how much amount is in the bank, how much you owe for the credit card, how much money you have in cash, and then 
This is the accounts receivable where the money that you are expecting to receive from your customers in the future and also how much money you owe your suppliers or vendors in the future. So all of this automatically calculated each account. What is the current balance on in each of those accounts and then how much invoice is past due, which are not due yet, how much amount of bills that you have not paid in time, how much will be due in the future. All of that information is automatically calculated for you. You can also go to the profit and loss sheet, which is dynamically automatically calculated for you. You don't have to do anything at all. You, it'll automatically put the income up, income entries, cost of sales, uh, gross profit is calculated as income minus cost of sales, operating expenses, operating profit is gross profit minus operating expense. And then you have other expenses like tax payments and everything. And then you have the final net profit for your business, which is operating profit minus other. Now you can you can see that monthly it calculates it. So March wasn't a great month. Uh, we lost money for the business, but it's been otherwise looking positive. And July was kind of the best month so far recently. And we are still going through August right now. And so this is the profit and loss statement, which is generated automatically you can also change the start date for your profit and loss statement so instead of me starting from january 2020 if i wanted to start from september 2019 i just type that in and now you can see that i have 12 months of data beginning in september and i could also change this to quarterly so if i want to look at everything three months um, then you can see that things are automatically getting updated um, and then you can also do yearly if you have multiple years of data. And then I can also change this chart to any of these metrics if I want to plot them um, in a chart so I can visually see the trend of my business. So this is a great um, automated profit and loss statement which you can use um, for your accounting purposes. Um, and then the next sheet is the cash flow. So the cash flow the difference between the cash flow and the profit and loss is profit and loss is recording the transactions as they occur whenever you make a sale, whenever you generate an invoice, that is when it's recorded. But cash flow is tracking the actual movement of the cash. When the customer made a payment to you, when you made a payment to your suppliers, when the actual cash flow is happening, right? This is important because you can generate a lot of invoices, but your customers don't pay yet haven't paid yet, you haven't received the money. So there's no real cash flow. So it is imp equally important to know what is the cash flow status for your small business. And you can see here, um, we started using this template on January, July 1st, 2019 with the starting balance of this. And now money is coming in, money is going out. You can also do some transfers within accounts. Um, and then you have an ending balance. And you can see the month over month ending balance trend. You can also see the money in and money out trends by month. This is for all my accounts. I can also change this to say, show me for only one of my accounts, whether it's the savings or checking or PayPal, and I can do that and now I can see the trend, the money in and out just for that account. And on the right side, you, you will see similar information, but you're looking at it in a table format instead of a chart, um, so you're, you know, welcome to use whichever one which is more convenient for your um, purposes. But you can go back and show all accounts if I want to see all the accounts. And so this is how easy it is to customize this to get the information you need to know about cash flow for all accounts or one account at a time. Now let's go into the insights. This is where you can get valuable insights about how your business is performing in terms of sales and expenses, right? So by default, you will see all the data that you've entered so far broken into sales, expenses, refunds to customers, and refunds to suppliers. So those are the four charts that you see here. You will see the monthly trend, so you can see how the sales is increasing or decreasing. Same thing with the expenses, whether it's increasing or decreasing. The um, you can also filter this by specific period of time. So I can just drag along. I only want to see this for these months. And you saw that they got updated. 
I can unfilter so I can see all the months. And on the right side here is where you can see what is driving the sales. So in this case, I've entered like service revenue or product revenue, you know, what is driving more um, revenue to my business. Similarly, I can see top customers, which customers are driving the most revenue to my business. And again, once you filter by month, you can see maybe recent month, which customers are getting you the most um, revenue. Similarly, on the expense side, the, the top subcategories of expenses and then the suppliers or vendors whom you pay the most as expenses in your business. You can also filter using these filters on category, subcategory, and customer supplier information as well in this Insights dashboard. Now, the next one is the unpaid report, which gives you the list of all unpaid invoices, and for example, the not due yet. So these are invoices that are not due yet. These are the invoices that are past due. And then you can also shift this to unpaid bills, and now you will see the unpaid bills for the chart to get refreshed, hit refresh all, and now you'll see that there is one bill which is not due yet for 120, which is this, but there are two bills which are past due date and which is um, listed here under these two. So this is how you can instantly see unpaid bills or unpaid invoices for your small business quickly. And you can also see more than 20. By default, it shows 20, 20 here and 20 here, but you can just come in and type in 21 here and you'll see 21 to 40. So again, dynamic, you will be able to access the information you need in a compact, quick way. Then we go to the customer report, which is where you can type in a customer name and then it'll pull up all the information about all the unpaid invoices for that customer. We can also show only past due invoices if you would like. So you can generate a report like this for one customer and then you can either send it to them as PDF if you need uh, or share with them. Similar report is the supplier report, except here you're typing in the supplier name and then you can choose either the past due bills or all unpaid bills and you will be able to see the list of bills, summarized amounts. So this is all automated and we have seen the all these different um, dashboards and reports that this template will automatically generate. They're also made print ready so you can um, go file, print, or export as PDF, so you can convert it into PDF and share. You can also save them um, you know, for references. We definitely recommend making backups of this Excel file um, on a weekly or a monthly or a daily basis, depending on how much data you enter. Um, please make sure that you have backup copies saved at the end of the day. If you have any questions about this template, any of the features available uh, in this template, please let me know in the comment section below and I will respond to it as soon as I can. Thank you very much for watching.